Benjamin Franklin, polymath, diplomat, philosopher, inventor? What couldn't this man do? Despite never serving as president of the United States, Benjamin Franklin had an enduring legacy in the early foundation of the United States of America, as well as colonial America, and inspired hundreds of years of inventing and science. Today we learn a little bit of a picture book history of this enduring and fascinating figure. Join me for A Picture Book of Benjamin Franklin by David A. Adler. Let's hop on in, shall we? Benjamin Franklin was born in Boston, Massachusetts on January 17, 1706. Massachusetts was then one of the 13 colonies that belonged to England. There were 17 Franklin children. Wow! Benjamin's father hoped that Benjamin, the 10th and youngest son, would grow up to be a minister. Benjamin always had lots of ideas. When he was still a young boy, he invented swimming paddles that fit over his hands and helped him to swim faster. Benjamin began school when he was eight years old. He had good handwriting and was an excellent reader, but he did poorly in arithmetic. Benjamin's father did not have enough money to keep him in school. When Benjamin was 10, he began to work in his father's soap and candle shop. Benjamin cut wicks, poured hot wax into candle molds, and did errands. He hated the smell of the wax and the boiling soap. He hated making candles. Benjamin wrote poetry. He loved books and reading. So when he was 12, his father put Benjamin to work in a print shop. The printer and owner of the shop was James Franklin, Benjamin's older brother. James Franklin printed one of the first newspapers in America, the New England Courant. Benjamin set type and ran the press. He also wrote clever articles for the newspaper. He signed them, Mistress Silence Do Good, so no one would know who wrote them. James was angry when he found out that his brother was Silence Do Good. He refused to print any more of the articles. When Benjamin was 17, he left his brother's shop. He went to New York City and then to Philadelphia, where he worked in a print shop. Soon after Benjamin arrived in Philadelphia, he met Deborah Reed. They were married in 1730. Benjamin had three children, William, Francis, and Sarah. In 1728, when Benjamin was 22, he set up his own print shop and published a newspaper, the Pennsylvania Gazette. Benjamin worked hard. He became the official printer of Pennsylvania, and later he became the official printer for New Jersey, Delaware, and Maryland, too. Once a year, Beginning in 1732, Benjamin printed Poor Richard's Almanac. At the time, it was the most popular almanac in America. It had information on the weather, recipes, and a calendar of important dates. It also had stories and wise sayings, including early to bed, early to rise, makes a man healthy, wealthy, and wise, and haste makes waste. It's still in publication today. Benjamin Franklin had worked hard since he was a boy. By 1748, at the age of 42, he was a rich man. He retired from the printing business. He spent his time in public service, inventing and experimenting. Benjamin Franklin helped set up Philadelphia's first fire and police departments. He, has, he helped to start the first lending library and the first hospital in America. He was made postmaster of Philadelphia and later postmaster of all 13 American colonies. Benjamin Franklin invented the Franklin stove. It saved fuel and heated a room better than a fireplace. He invented bifocal glasses and a long arm to reach books on high shelves. He also invented the lightning rod that saved many homes from fires. 
Benjamin Franklin was very interested in electricity. In one dangerous experiment, he flew a kite in a thunderstorm. When lightning struck the kite, sparks flew from a key attached to the string. Benjamin had proved that lightning is electricity. In 1765, Benjamin went to England. He spoke at the English House of Commons against the Stamp Act, a tax which the American colonists felt was unfair. Franklin helped to convince the English to end the tax. Benjamin Franklin remained in England for 10 years. He told the English king and his advisors to give people in the 13 colonies more rights and freedom, but the king refused. Benjamin Franklin returned to the colonies in 1775, soon after the beginning of the American Revolution. He was at the Second Continental Congress and was chosen to help write the Declaration of Independence. In 1776, Benjamin Franklin traveled to France to ask the French people to help America in its fight for independence. The French people liked Benjamin's clever stories. They honored him as a great scientist. The French king, Louis XVI, agreed to send money and weapons to America. America won its independence, and Benjamin Franklin helped write the peace treaty with England. Benjamin Franklin returned to Philadelphia in 1785. He was an American hero. When his ship was about to dock, cannons were fired in his honor. Bells were rung, and a crowd waited to greet him. Two years later, in 1787, a constitution was being written to govern the new United States. Benjamin Franklin was the oldest delegate to the Constitutional Convention. He was 81 years old. In his final years, Benjamin Franklin wrote his autobiography, and he also spoke out against slavery and worked to outlaw it. Benjamin Franklin died on April 17, 1790, at the age of 84. When Benjamin Franklin wrote his will, he called himself Benjamin Franklin Printer. But people all over the world knew him as more than a printer. They knew him also as a writer, scientist, inventor, and statesman. They knew him as Benjamin Franklin, Great American. Well, thank you all very much for watching this with me. Today's presentation was done on Epic. I hope you guys enjoyed reading on this platform. Please feel free to check it out if you haven't already. Well, thanks everyone. I hope you enjoyed reading this little fun picture book biography on a very, very important American figure, Benjamin Franklin. What a fascinating guy, huh? Well, there's tons of other biographies you can choose from if you're interested in learning more. Thanks everyone for joining me on, Mr. Ryan. If you, if you want, you're welcome to check out. I've got tons of other stories on this channel, especially quite a few in this Great Person series. Or if you're looking for fun activities you can do from home, go ahead and check out baronolibrary.org children. Until next time, I'll be seeing you. Thanks for stopping by. Bye-bye.